Hey guys, it's been well and I'm back. Today I want to kind of talk about resolve in a way and kind of where it's come and where it's going to. Um, a little bit of a spoiler here, this will need to be used with the studio version of Resolve, it won't work with the free version, um, and I'm going to show you the gotchas as well. So what we're going to be using is Python and a bit of Resolve and then combining the two together to call it automate stuff. Now I'm using this for my wife's business which is Propose PR and we do a lot of videos and I want to turn them around and the functionality I found with Resolve was setting up folder structures, you know, getting stuff sorted but then doing batch exporting. Now, Resolve does one at a time, as we all know, and it's kind of cumbersome. So this is a great way to kind of, um, you know, automate stuff. And it is far from far from far from perfect. Please, you can add on this script, do whatever. And there's a big shout out to Aaron Corbett, who helped a lot with this as well. So very clever guy. So the two scripts we're going to look at now is uh, the one for the folder structure. And what this is going to do is open an Apple script and call on open resolve. So this will open up resolve automatically, wait 10 seconds, and then jump on through down here. So this is where you name your project. So this is what you want to call it. Um, for this argument's sake, I'm going to call it uh, job number 44. And here's the folders that it's going to create up. In my eyes, I use a Nikon camera. So it's going to come through and do folder one, two, external, graphics, music, and then the final sequences. So that's how we're going to set it up and get the audio and get all the folders in. And then once we've done our edits and all that sort of stuff, we're going to do the final export, which are then basically, I normally do seven videos. So what this is doing is actually going to spit out index one of the sequences all the way through to the seventh sequence. And it's going to use my customized thing called deliver underscore 2064, which is a 264 codec with a delivery commercials kind of prefix on it. So let's crack on. Um, I'm not going to go into depth of um, where you need to get Python from. This is a 100% Mac one, guys. Sorry for the PC lovers. Um, I'm not a big PC user, so I'm not too sure on how to use that. So to get this up and rocking, you need to um, install Python. In this case, I'm using Python 3. And jump onto my desktop, and I'll throw in the final folders. So simple as that. That will then activate the computer to go find resolve and here she is behind the background it will name it as project 44 and then load up all those folders which is a great thing you know um, this is public beta number four of studio 16 so um, once I've shown you how this is I need to go in and show you where things actually need to happen so there you go it's opened it up it's created its folders and hooray great work so while this is in here let me show you what you can really be careful of now um, down in general, there's this thing, external scripting using local. It comes whenever you update the new betas or whenever you need to do it, it starts as none. So if you try to run these scripts, it'll fail. So please, please, please make sure you run local. If you're running scripts over the network, obviously that's it. Um, the API for uh, Resolve right now is quite limited, what you can do, but I'm sure these guys are going to really build it up. So something to be careful of, of getting caught out that way. So, for argument's sake, I'm going to go grab, what am I going to grab? I'm going to grab a spot from the interweb, and this is going to go through here. Insert blurriness, and I'm just going to grab this. Right, so this is just a BMW spot taken from the interweb, and I'll just go in 10 seconds, and just, for argument's sake, label this down. So. This will be called uh, ABC1, and for the art of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you see what we're doing here. I'll pause it so you can come back when it's all done. Right, guys, so there you go. You've got um, seven timelines, and in argument's sake, this will be my seven edits doing my wife's company. I can't show you the edited sequences because they're on a, uh, a membership site right now and I can't actually show you it, so quite boring. I apologize. So in this case, I'm going to save this down. It, as you've seen, is name uh, job number 44, which is this, and I've got seven through here. So next, and again, type in my Python 3, and I will do spitting out seven. So this takes control of Resolve, and it's going to ask me, hey, where do you want to send it to? Well, let's be crazy. Let's uh, send it out to exports, and it loads them up, and spits them out. So, 
there you go, nice and easy. Um, this is going out quite slow because I've got screen record on and all sorts of wacky stuff. So, and I'm, this isn't connected to my external graphics card, so it's quite slow. You get the idea. It'll start chumping through and chumping through. So I'm just going to stop that for argument's sake. So again, quite a nice thing. We can have a look at the um, at the script, and I'll show you what it's actually doing. So I'll clear all that. But how I made my little custom one, it's just deliver underscore two um, two h two six four. The last one we need to be careful of is the file naming. Make sure it's your timeline because it comes in as custom name and then what will happen will be this arbitrary number that comes out. You scratch your head, it must be the script. No, it's the thing. And this is associated to this preset. So whenever you do it, I always do the custom ones. I seldom do the ones that are locked in here. If I do this one and I want to get out like a 4K version of this, um, I will do it. Then I'll save it as a custom and then that one there will go into this little section here. So it's coming through, it's moving to the, well, I'll show you what it's actually doing. So it's logging into all the media store, making sure it's all good. It's getting the root, it's getting the clips. It then deletes all the previous render jobs. That's quite important. And then it fires up over to the edit page and then it looks for the resolve one number one, loads it up, uses this preset and then adds the render job, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth. And then at the bottom, it goes start rendering. Now, of course, <coughs> if you've got four of these, you've got eight of these, you've got 20 of these, you'll need to then um, copy and paste and associate these indexes to that. So a good thing is if you're doing rushes every day and you always know there's going to be 10 reels and then you know, you've know you got multiple scripts that are just sitting there ready to grab it, export it, saves you grabbing, exporting, or worse still, when you go into Resolve, you have to pull down here, find it, add it to the render queue, do it, add it to the render queue, do it. It really takes a lot of time after a period of time and when you're doing multiple versions of stuff, it's a real, real pain in the backside to actually go to this. So, hopefully that work shows you a little bit more fun stuff, guys. I'll put the links in the video below and all that sort of fun stuff. And uh, hopefully this helped. Bye for now.